हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज इंट्रोडक्शन 1.5 इन द लास्ट इंट्रोडक्शन आई कंप्लीटेड द सिलेबस ऑफ सॉइल एंड वाटर कंजर्वेशन इंजीनियरिंग एंड सर्वेइंग एंड लेवलिंग सो दिस इज द लास्ट इंट्रोडक्शन डोंट गेट वरी इट विल द इंट्रोडक्शन 1.6 विल नॉट कम सो आई विल फिनिश द इंट्रोडक्शन इन दिस 1.6 इन दिस आई विल यूज द सिलेबस ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग so this is me got air1 in 2013 and completed my mtech in pharmacy and power from iit kharagpur so i think you know all this book unit operation of agricultural engineering by singh and sahai i would say this book from first chapter to the last chapter is important you first you go through this book entire each chapter page by page and then you will come to know by yourself that what is the important chapter and which is important formula and what are the relevant information because in this book also although all chapters are important but all the informations are not important you need not remember all the given information and all the given formulas some formulas like the formula of cyclone separator like the formula of effectiveness of the screen like in storage chapter the lateral pressure so these are the some formula which are very important and you need to remember that but there are certain other formulas that have been given but that are not important so first uh, let's see the syllabus i would like to say you that in the food engineering the syllabus can be divided as because some portions are heat and mass transfer probably you will study that heat and mass transfer in your fourth semester examination so i would say you match the syllabus of your college and the syllabus of gate and what are the relevant chapters you need to study for this exam you complete on fourth semester itself that you, that that will help you in understanding this singh and sahai book also so i will give you the list of book for that heat and mass transfer in upcoming slide first we will see what this paragraph says in this paragraph the one kinematics of microbial death pasteurization and sterilization of liquid food this topic is gaining momentum nowadays since 2010 or 11 uh, not every year but in gap of one year or two year they ask question from this in my time 2013 they also asked one question from kinetics of microbial dead this you will not get in this singh and sahai book i will tell you where you will get this information this pasteurization and sterilization you should know the difference between these two the operating temperature between these two operations and why we do that and what are the various product mill or is there any other product which requires this pasteurization and sterilization you study that preservation of food food by cooling and freezing this information also you will not get in this book but i will give you one source don't get too much into detail of this one formula is there for freezing of food food product so you need to study that formula refrigeration and cold storage this you will get in the book of refrigeration here is in this book also you can get one or two formula but if you want to study the concept in more deeper way this book will not help you you can ask your any mechanical engineering friend they can help you regarding this the psychometry properties of air vapor air vapor mixture means it is saying nothing but humidity concept of humidity relative humidity so this you need to understand uh, that portion humidity portion is also very important from the examination point of view then these are some theoretical concepts like the tray drum dryer and spray dryer in spray dryer they used to ask question so this is an important topic spray drying this you will also not get in this book i will show you the this the source of this all complex topics so now comes in the second paragraph this all 
this all syllabus you can easily get in this book sing and sigh and there is no other better source than this book effective of effectiveness of grain cleaner whatever i said in the beginning of this lecture particle size analysis in this it will come the taylor sieve they ask they have asked this what is the taylor sieve what is the ratio of whole size for one level to another level what is the screw bucket conveying this all you can get in the this book these are not very complex concept one one time if you will read then you will able to memorize that now i will show you the next source of reading this agriculture engineering for food processing so see this is one important source transport processes and separation process principle by john jen complex this book is also referred by the chemical engineering students this is also very thick book and all the chapters are not of our importance from this book you can study conduction convection heat radiation form form factor in radiation nowadays they are asking about the form factor u factor so all these uh, topics are given in very clarity and easy manner and you can also find many numerical problem in this book so you, for this topic you can refer this book and one more important point for drying constant rate of drying falling rate of drying this concept is also beautifully explained in this book so you please study this concept in from this book only that concept you will not get in thing and sigh and in gate you used to get this type of question from drying so here i have mentioned as i said heat heat transfer conduction convection radiation transient heat transfer one more thing in this book you will also get many dimensionless number like nusselt number perot number biot number please make sure what is the difference between nusselt number and perot number one is used for the con conduction in mass transfer and one is used for the non mass transfer okay so you try to remember this subtle difference what is the difference between biot number and perot number what is the prandtl number split number so renold number this all are the some 10 10 dimensionless numbers are there which are very important from examination point so all these number you can find in this book only that is not available in the king and sahai book working principle of heat exchanger what is the ntu number of transfer unit what is the log lmpd log mean temperature difference for heat exchanger this information also you will get in this book only mass transfer diffusion so beautifully this concepts are explained in this book only only two chapters are there you please study from this because these are the very crucial topics second hydrothermal pool this time milling of this milling chapter is there in thing and sahai book you can study that chapter from that book otherwise all other things are uh, like theoretical in nature not much numerical from that book then again this this topic is also somewhat theoretical in nature controlled and modified atmospheric storage in storage chapter of thing and sahai book you will get some theoretical points you study that only don't don't get too much there but here from bean and grain silos you study this topic from thing and sahai book where what is the deep silo what is the what is the deep silo and shallow silo so what is the difference between these two what is the jensen formula how you will apply that what is the aries formula so you must uh, you must remember those formula what are the various parameter used in that formula whether it is used in deep bin or shallow bin i will tell you jensen formula is used in deep bin so you remember this and how you will apply that formula because these are very important from examination point of view this food food engineering the whole syllabus will carry around 15 to 20 marks each and every year and even if you are you are able to get 10 uh, marks out of this 
then it is very good. See in get you don't need to solve the hundred mark question. Out of hundred you will get fifteen mark aptitude question. So set aside. Out of eighty five, if you are able to do only thirty mark, then and out of aptitude only ten mark, then you will get around forty mark, and that much mark is sufficient to get into any good IIT. I am not saying you target only forty marks. You target for at least fifty marks. But even if the paper is too difficult, then you must be in a position to get secure at least forty marks. That should be your target. So this completes the syllabus explanation. If you want any other clarification, so please comment on the below comment box section. I will give clarification on that. So I think we dealt the syllabus in a more comprehensive manner. So this will give you one look because many students have difficulty in understanding the syllabus and what topic they need to study from this book. So I give uh, much emphasis on this and so that it took two or three lectures to complete this. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.